Every eFax file attachment will contain, on average, anywhere from 10 to 25 pages. Our job is to break down these eFaxes into individual transfer requests, or TRs, each file being one candidate applying to one specific job, or REC ID. Once we have separated these transfer requests into individual files, we will then upload those TRs to eExpress. This email down at the bottom here has three uh, pages, so well, let's start with this one. We'll double click to open, and you can always go right directly down to the file attachment at the bottom. This is an eFax transfer request. You can see from looking at the top center, this one has three pages, and you can also see the pages running down the left side of the page here. Uh, whenever we're dealing with eFaxes, we always focus on three items, the name, the REC ID, and the date of submission. The name, the REC ID, and the date of submission. And by date of submission, we refer specifically to that date stamped in the upper right section of the transfer request. That is, the date the local Human Resources Office received this transfer request from the candidate. And again, you can click on each thumbnail on the left to look at uh, each page that's in this file, so that's good to know. So we have three transfer requests in this one file, and we want to separate these three pages into three separate TIFF files, which we will then later upload to eExpress under the candidate's respective portfolios and their desired jobs, their REC ID numbers. This first page here is candidate Brian Newberry's transfer request for REC ID SA.090.1234, I think that is. We want to take this one specific page and move it to its own separate file. So we click on this page to select it. We then go up to the menu bar, specifically the page menu and click on Move Pages to New File. Okay, as you can see, this is now its own separate file. Brian Newberry is up front. The other two were left behind. So now we have to save this file under its own unique name. So we go up to the uh, menu bar, click File, Save As. First thing you want to do is browse your way back to your eFax folder where you keep all your individual files. Okay, now drop down to our file name field and remember our file name convention? It is last name comma first name dash tr dash the rec ID number dash date of submission. So this is Newberry comma Brian dash tr dash SA.090.1234-1234 03.05.2009 Okay, when you click Save, this transfer request has become its own separate file. And just to be on the safe side, I like to take a quick glance at the title bar in the top left corner and confirm all the information is correct. Uh, so real briefly, that's Newberry Bryan. Uh, the REC ID is SA.1234, and date of submission is 3509. Okay, it's good. I'm comfortable. It's good to go. I can close this file and move on to the next.